Hello everyone, this is Double Wide 6 and recently I was working on a zero turn tractor with some electrical problems and I got really in depth into the electrical schematics and I thought I'd bring a little video to you guys talking about schematics and electrical diagrams for tractors and before I get into that video I wanted to show you something simpler like how a relay works and in this case, this is a fuel pump relay control circuit for a car. So let's talk about the relay. Here it is. So your relay is a switch that has a coil on it over here. And when this coil gets its 12 volts, it's activated and it has a magnetic field that switches a switch. So in order for your relay to work, you need to control the coil. So this is actually called the control side of the relay. And what we want to do is we want to add 12 volts to this side so our switch will move. So in order for this circuit to work, if we take a look down here, you can see you have the fuel pump relay control. And this is part of the PCM in the vehicle. This is a module or a computer that controls uh, different aspects to your car. You'll notice it has a dashed line around it rather than solid because this is showing you this is not the only thing that this PCM does. If it was a solid block, it would just be a module that would only control, in this case, the fuel pump relay. So. What you have here is a computerized control that switches on, okay, and it sends 12 volts up here, and the 12 volts go up to this coil, and once the current gets there, it goes out the other side, and it's now zero volts, and it goes down to the ground, okay? So what that does is when the current runs through here, I'll get my little pointer stick. It, it, it causes this coil to send a magnetic field that closes this switch. Now, the circuit in this case is a fuel pump. And up here, you have, it says it's hot at all times. So this is the same as having a wire connected uh, to a 12 volt battery. And you have your power coming in. This little symbol here is a fuse. Once again, you have that dashed line, meaning that this fuel pump control is not the only fuse found in this box. It runs down here, sending 12 volts through here, and the current now switches from this dead post. It links it and closes the circuit where it continues through this gray wire and it goes up and around and it goes to our fuel pump motor. Now after the motors activated the uh, remaining current runs down here and touches ground. So that's the way the circuit works and just so you know the circuit will not activate if either side of the uh, relay is not working. So you have the control side and switching side. So if you're not getting power or you don't have a ground or uh, there's a wire that's damaged, it's not going to work. So I just wanted to cover this simple lesson before we get onto the relays that involve uh, a zero turn tractor. All right, guys, so here's a look at, this is a Husqvarna CZ4817, so it's a residential um, zero-turn mower. And you can see that the schematic is uh, pretty complex if you're not used to working with this. So um, I'm going to try and take you through it the best I can, although it is kind of complex. And there are, as you can see, three relays that we need to deal with in this circuit. So looking down here at the bottom, it says in order to start, you need the battery start and auxiliary one to touch together. So here's your key switch. Right there's the battery. 
and this is A1, and this is start. So what happens is your current comes from the battery, it goes down here, it hits the post of the solenoid. That's usually the pretty thick wire because there's a lot of current. You've got 12 volts from your B plus coming down here through a 20 amp fuse, and that goes to the B terminal on the uh, ignition switch. And when you turn the key to start, it's going to send power to that S here, and it's also going to send power to auxiliary one. 12 volts goes down here, follows the yellow line, goes through the uh, PTO that's disengaged. It's in the rest position, and it flows through the right control switch that's for the lever. And then it goes up through here, it'll stop right there. Now, when the relay closes, or the relay activates, this will close, and your power will come through. It's going to go through the left control switch, the brake switch, and then it's going to give power to the post on the solenoid, which is going to cause that to send power through here and start the starter motor. Now, in order for this relay to close, it needs to get 12 volts to activate this coil. So, power goes from the switch, from the battery, 12 volts to auxiliary one, and it flows down this way, down this way, and the seat switch, You'll notice, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but if you're sitting on the seat, it'll go through here, okay? If, it's, if you're not on the seat, it's going to go up through the kill circuit, and then it comes in here, and it hits the uh, coil and activates this uh, contact here, and you'll see that this one is the start relay, and after... You're done turning the key, so the key is no longer on start. Then there's not going to be 12 volts coming out the start circuit because remember, the starter just engages the flywheel for a couple seconds and then the key is kind of like spring loaded. So it goes back to this position where that green line is, and now you only have power coming out of the switch through A1. And this relay, you'll remember the start relay, because that 12 volt signal stops at the coil there, this switch will actually shut, and that'll cause the current to flow down here into this coil or relay for a run circuit. And off the back side of that, you can see that there's a, a ground wire that makes its way all the way back and goes to a ground on the engine. So in order for this machine to shut down, all that has to happen is this um, power signal here needs to be interrupted and this switch will go down to the, it, right now it's in what they call the rest position. And if it's connected there, it's going to ground out the engine and kill it. And I know it's really kind of complex, but I'll try and show you on the same drawing with a couple less lines. This is how the circuit will kill itself. And as you know, uh, tractors have all kinds of uh, safety switches. So you have your power, it comes down here in the run position. And let's say that you're, you're mowing and you fall off the seat. So the power is gonna come from your seat switch. Instead of going across here, it's gonna go up, follow that pink line, and it's going to send 12 volts to this coil 
And when it does that, it's going to connect this switch, which is going to uh, ground out the engine. So I hope this video was a little bit helpful for you because I know, you know, a lot of people that are looking at these schematics for their tractor, kind of looking at it for the first time. It's, it's something that you don't work with every day. And uh, hopefully this can kind of uh, point you in the right direction where if you need to troubleshoot something, you can kind of follow the, the flow of the electricity. Anyhow, I don't know if uh, this video will be real helpful or not. You'll have to let me know in the comments. I got a whole bunch of uh, tractor and repair videos on my channel, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'd really like to thank all the subscribers because uh, I think this week I'm going to hit 100,000, and uh, I wouldn't have been able to do it without you guys. So thanks for supporting the channel, and give the video a like if it was helpful. Take care.